your goddamn cheese! Ooh. Dig you digging in my cheese? Hey! You digging in my fucking cheese, Bridget? You digging in my cheese? No. Somebody been digging in Somebody digging in my goddamn cheese! I don't like my cheese! I don't like the way you eat my goddamn cheese! God damn this! What are you doing? You eat my goddamn cheese! You goddamn eat everything off the floor! I don't give a goddamn anymore! Relax, it's a block of cheese. I'll go buy you a block of cheese, dude. Fuck it! There's your goddamn supper! Fuck you. Goddamn hamburger on the goddamn floor! Potato salad? <laughs> That's it. Turn it, goddamn camera on now! It's really noisy all of a sudden, isn't it? Okay, so a lot of you have been requesting that I tell you stories about growing up and angry. There are ice cream trucks on both sides, there and over there. Okay, I don't know what it is. The ice cream trucks in the neighborhood just start decide to come out while I start recording. It's a competition. Who can sell more ice cream? I think it's more like, let's see how loud I can turn my volume up. It's a little loud, huh? Okay, so. A lot of you have been requesting that I tell you stories about what it was like growing up with Angry Grandpa. So that's what I'm going to do. The first story I'm going to start off with I'll call the butter and the cheese because it sticks out the most with me. It was about a week before Christmas and that is a giant truck playing Spanish music. So it was a few days before Christmas, about a week before Christmas, and my cousin Chris was staying over with us and we had sleeping bags set up on the floor and we were watching television. You know, just having a good time hanging out and that's when Dad walks by us. Now I'm only seven years old mind you. We're watching television and dad opens the fridge and his cheese is missing. Somebody had taken giant bites of his cheese. Now by now we know it was my sister Kimberly but at the time we didn't know. All of a sudden we hear who ate my goddamn cheese? In comes the cheese like a freaking softball hits the wall and just boom. Next thing you know, it's followed by the butter. It comes whirling like a frisbee, and it hits the wall and explodes everywhere. I guess he was going to make a grilled cheese sandwich or something. The, che the butter explodes. The cheese goes everywhere. My mom decides to come in and clean up the butter off the wall. She starts wiping it, and Dad says, Oh, no. Oh, you are not cleaning that butter off the wall. I swear to God, I'll have your fat ass. He does not let anybody clean the butter off the wall. It stays there. If you look at our Christmas pictures from that year, Kim, if you hear me, look through your albums, see if you have this photo. I'm opening a present and you see butter smeared across the wall in the background because he wouldn't let anybody clean it. Really, you talking about my goddamn cheese? Yeah. I'm telling the story about what you Don't be telling stories out of goddamn about what goes on in this house. Yes. What happens here is like Vegas and stays here. You do it. 
People want to know, so I'm telling them. You threw cheese and butter against the wall for no reason. I want to see the, the video. Yes. I want to see it when you're done, because there's two sides to every story. You understand? Are you locked out? Ugh. He flipped out over cheese for no reason. No reason. You're a liar. You're a liar. Hey, who, who, who flips out over cheese? Not me. That's the truth. He flipped out over cheese for no reason. He shouldn't have flipped out over cheese like that. You weren't there. I know. <laughs> so, that's part of growing up with Angry Grandpa. I got plenty more to tell. There are many stories. Maybe there's one, there's one story where he digs his heel into my back, like, <laughs> because I, w I scratched his feet too hard. <laughs> that's another story. That's another day. That's life with Angry Grandpa. That's story number one, I guess. Story number one. Is he coming back out? Damn it! God damn! What are you doing? I'm looking at my goddamn vanilla cheese! It's right there! Where? Move the cheese! Who the fuck is my damn? It, I mean, a sandwich! I want you with it! You owe me my goddamn shit! Well, you throw the food all over the floor for God, me! look at my goddamn vanilla cheese! Oh, like the mayonnaise is open! Who the fuck? I made a sandwich with. I made a sandwich with it! Man, I was gonna eat my steak and my vanilla. Do the old goddamn steak with that goddamn plate. Who the, the fuck's eating my shit up? It was just a little bit of food. I am so motherfucking tired of this. Oh, mom's like naked in there. I don't give a damn. She can stay naked. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do with me? That was my sandwich. I got supper. Yo, what I need? I got you a goddamn sandwich. Don't invite me. Now look you at my damn Look you what don't... you did. I didn't do that, first of all. God damn, this is fucked up, man. Get out of here, you goddamn naked uh, uh, bitch. Uh, 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 I'm tired no, of you, no, goddamn no, no, no. it. I cleaned up after them animals in the fucking hotel, and I have to clean this up? Yeah, you do. Why'd you eat my goddamn vanilla cheese? I don't really like this you shit. You lied, bitch. You eat my vanilla cheese. Man, yeah, please. That was mine. I ate the pimento cheese, but... Then why are you throwing it on the fucking floor? You got problems. You threw it on the floor. You're a fucking liar. What are you going to do pimento cheese for anyway with steak? Beat your goddamn brains out! Who the fuck? Hey. Google clean the mess up! Who mixes pimento cheese with steak? You need to clean this shit up! <laughs> you made the mess, you need to clean it up! There's your fucking broom, witch! Fly around the fucking house! Put it between your legs and ride, fly, fly! Okay, this is getting bizarre. No, you need to shut the fuck up. You need to clean this. I ain't clean this shit, I didn't do it! Who eats pimento cheese and steak? I didn't do it! Who eats pimento yeah, cheese and uh, steak? I don't get I that. I do, it's good. There are people at that hotel that aren't that nasty. That's fucking nasty. Fuck God you. Goddamn nasty, man. Get your fat ass out of here, pig. Fattest person in this motherfucking house, you. No, oh, All you do is fucking ass. shut the fuck up. Ugh, this weenie weenie. Fucking piggy bitch. Get bitch clean, motherfucker. Bridget, go to the room because you're not cleaning this. Yeah, you are. God damn, you come in the weekends, you eat my goddamn food shit. You make a mess, you throw shit around. Over pimento cheese? It was mine. First off, you're the only white trash Dude. person who eats steak with wow. pimento you cheese. A goddamn bill. What? See, this is ridiculous. I gotta be afraid of you. Damn. Fuck. I'm gonna beat his goddamn ass. The fuck? Oh. <laughs> Get out of here! <laughs> You can cheese at me. Get the fuck out of here. It's all your goddamn fault. You better go and you're gonna wear this motherfucker.